Radio Delay Blowback. A couple weeks ago, we asked you guys to submit your questions about anything that we have here. And you guys had a lot of questions regarding our Radio Delay Blowback operating system. Whether it's 45, 10, 40, 9 millimeter, what works with the 9 millimeter, MKG, MKGS, all those different platforms, you guys have questions. So on this episode of Q&A, I believe it's volume three, we're going to go over everything Radio Delay Blowback. So stay tuned. Hey everybody, Mike here with CMMG. And as you saw in the intro, today I'm here to talk to you guys about radio delay blowback. You guys have a lot of questions. I'm here to answer those questions. So without any further ado, let's just dive right in here. Question number one comes from Nick Boudreau on Facebook. It's actually a multi-parter, so I'll tackle this in a couple different sections. So first part, when doing a home build with the 45 radio delay blowback bolt carrier group, what is the recommended buffer weight and or spring? Well, Nick, we ship that with a standard carbine buffer and spring when we manufacture those here in house. So that would be our recommended buffer and spring. Uh, however, if you plan on doing suppressed or if you're gonna do some different loads, we would recommend maybe playing with a little bit different weights, maybe a heavier buffer or using our action tuning kit. I'm not gonna get into too much detail on that right now. I will hear in just a moment on, an, on another question. Now onto the second part of his question. Regarding the same bolt carrier group, he says that the cam pin is shaped differently, but he wants to know, is it the same length, width, uh, and is the head smaller or the same as a regular cam pin? Well, everything on the cam pin itself is going to be pretty much mil spec, so it's going to be the same size as, you, as what you would see in most every other AR-15. However, the head is different, and we would really recommend if you had to replace that using one of ours, because of the cam path and everything in the upper being a little bit different, uh, we just don't want things to wear out or you know, cause some premature wear or failure on any part. So we would recommend using ours with the dedicated head size. And for the third part of his question, he asked, can you use a pistol buffer with a stiffer spring and or heavier buffer weight with the 45 radial delay blowback? The short answer is yes, you can, but you need to keep in mind that it is greatly going to affect the ability for the radio delay blowback to work properly. We typically recommend using the action tuning kit if you need to add weight to it, as springs are typically gonna make things act a lot differently and you might not get the proper rotation on that bolt, uh, on the bolt itself for that radio delay blowback action. So maybe play with the weights. I would steer clear of springs personally. Question number two comes from Sharpshooting Nerd on Instagram. The 9mm uppers are MKGS. Can they be used with the PMAG 9mm conversion? Well, just so you know, not all of our uppers are MKGS. As of me filming this, we also have the MK9 or Mark 9, which is a traditional blowback system. So the MKGS is specifically the radial delay blowback 9mm. The Mark 9s are traditional blowback. So there are two different uppers. Regarding the PMAG conversion, the MKGS uppers specifically will work with our nine millimeter conversion mags because we worked with Mean Arms to optimize that for our radio delay blowback operating system. If you're using a traditional blowback operating system, you need to use one of the other conversion mags because those have the ejectors and stuff like that built into it like a traditional blowback system needs. So hopefully that answers your question. Question number three comes from Jared Dornick on Instagram. He asks, can I add the radial delay bolt and barrel on my standard blowback nine millimeter AR build? That's a bit of a loaded question. Typically, I'm gonna say no, uh, because you're actually looking at two completely different systems. You have a radial delay blowback and you have traditional or straight blowback. Uh, the parts typically are not gonna be compatible. Uh, however, there are some things that you could do, like removing the extractor or the ejector from your lower, uh, changing out feed lips, making sure the mag seats at the right height. There are a few things that you could do that possibly would allow that bolt and bar barrel <laughs> to work on that lower. Then we have to worry about the upper itself. If your upper has a small ejection port cover or ejection port itself, 
it's probably not going to allow the full cycling of the radial delay blowback and possibly going to cause jams. So most of the time, whenever you look at traditional or straight blowback, they have smaller ejection ports and they have a lot of stuff in the lower that isn't compatible. If you can get the right <laughs> processes and the right pieces in there, possibly, but I would just say if you can, stick with one of ours. On to question number four. Unprofessional14 on Instagram asks, are barrel and bolt carrier kits for the radial delay nine millimeter system available in several lengths? I believe I've only seen five inch for sale. Well, the reason you've probably only seen the five inch ones for sale is because they're the most popular. People just really want that shortest configuration available. But that being said, we do also have them in eight and 16 inch variants. So they are available. Not sure if your local dealer might have them. You can always order direct and your dealer can always order from us too. Question number five comes from Steve Smith on Facebook. The question is, can the MKG lower take any other pistol uppers if both calibers use large frame Glock mags? Unfortunately not. We have two models, the MKG, which is 45, and the MK10, which is our 10 millimeter. Unfortunately, they don't even use the same lowers because the different diameter of projectiles and bullets in the magazines actually allow for different magazine seating heights among other things that just need to be tweaked slightly for the different calibers. Uh, combine that with the fact that most any other upper out there is probably going to be a traditional or straight blowback. Um, you're not going to have that compatibility that you're going to see with the radio delay. So unfortunately on this one, I'm going to say, no, they're not going to work. For question number six, the real nephew DMB on Facebook asks, does the Glock 9mm 50 round drum magazine fit the Banshee 300 series MKGS 9mm? In theory, yes, it should. The MKGS platform is our small frame Glock lower. Uh, so if it's patterned after a 9mm Glock magazine, it should fit. But just keep in mind, we designed that on Glock factory magazines. To the best of my knowledge, Glock doesn't make a drum magazine. There are a lot of other manufacturers out there that do. There are some Korean made ones. I believe Magpul just released one. Uh, so there are gonna be some out there that you can try and see if they will fit. The other thing you need to keep in mind is a lot of times those magazines are gonna be made of some type of plastic or polymer. They can expand and contract at different rates than metal, which typically means they're gonna work just fine in a polymer lower like a Glock but when you put that into an aluminum lower, aluminum doesn't expand and contract quite at that same rate. So you might get a little bit snugger fit or you might get a little bit looser fit depending on the magazine that you're using. In theory, it should work, but you could have some fitment issues. And the final question for today comes from Jason Harrington on Facebook. The question is, can you go through how to use the tuning kit for different situations, specifically 45 caliber? Well, I would love to go down that rabbit hole, but if we're talking about all the different situations, this is going to be a video so long that none of you would ever watch it. So I'm hoping to maybe simplify this for you a little bit. I happen to have the bolt carrier group for one of our 45 radial delay blowbacks right here. What the action tuning kit is a series of weights going to be typically in three sizes that you're going to be able to insert into the back of the bolt carrier group. What you'll do is you'll put the weight into there, You'll put a roll pin into the roll pin hole here. You'll hammer that in, and then you're gonna have that weight in there. Now, depending on your caliber, the load you're using, if you're running suppressed, barrel length, a lot of those different things are going to affect which weight you need to use here. Unfortunately, you're gonna be looking at a bit of trial and error. Simplest way to think about it is, the hotter the load or the more pressure there's gonna be against the bolt carrier group. So hotter load makes it move faster. Big suppressor is gonna cause more back pressure, making things have more pressure going backwards on it. Those are all gonna be things that you wanna slow down the bolt carrier a little bit with. And the way you slow it down is gonna be with those weights. So ultimately there's really too many factors to go into there. So depending on the load you're you're using, depending on if you're running suppressed or not, depending on the length of the barrel and how much gas is going to get bled out how fast, it really is up to you to find out which one works the best. I know that's not the answer you're looking for, 
but it is going to be a little bit of trial and error. Uh, if you haven't already done so, feel free to check out the CMMG Enthusiast page on Facebook. There are a lot of guys there that are running the 45, and they are running them suppressed. So you might have some real-world first-hand experience, so you can ask those guys there. So again, I apologize. Not really detailed, but like I said, that's a rabbit hole that we would possibly never come out of if we wanted to look at all the different options. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Thanks for submitting your questions. If you didn't see your question answered, just keep in mind, this is version three of our q and I've got a couple already released. Your question may be answered there. I do my best to try to go through and timestamp each one of these so that you can see what you're looking for and where. And if in any of these three videos you haven't seen anything, bear in mind, we have more videos coming too because you guys have asked a lot of really good questions. So future videos are probably gonna be a little more, you know, content specific like this one was specifically on radio delay blowback you're probably going to see some on like the mark 47 specifically and other category specific videos so if you haven't seen your question and you don't see it in one of these videos feel free to hit us up in the comments down below and if you've made it this far you know what to do at this point feel free to give us a like give us a sub and as always guys stay safe out there